Hey, this is Kristen Shaw, and I am here with Mike Swear from Toyota. He's the chief engineer for the brand new, all new Tundra, and I'm excited to talk to him about the whole Toyota Tundra process and the engine and everything that's been going on with this new truck. And I'm really excited to be talking to you about our new truck. It's been a, a long time in the making, and and uh, this is my baby. It is. Your new baby has gotten bigger. It has gotten a little bigger. But let's talk about the heart of the baby, and that is the engine. Oh, great new powertrains. New, we have two new powertrains, right? Yep. The V6 plain gas. Yep, 3.4 then... liter, or 3.5 liter, excuse me, twin turbo V6. Yep. And then the hybrid. And the hybrid. And which ones come with the regular, and which one comes with the hybrid? Uh, our, the gas version you can get with all of our grades. The hybrid basically is our premium powertrain and it comes on our, our higher grade trucks. You can get an SR5 and on up as an option. Uh, the high grade um, like TRD Pro, it's standard in, in that truck. Okay. And I think Toyota does an amazing job with hybrids. It's so smooth, really good powertrains. What is the secret sauce behind that? Well, first, let me say, this isn't uh, our traditional hybrid. And Toyota builds, we, well, we got more hybrids on the road than everybody else combined right now. But this is a one-motor hybrid system. Our other system is a two-motor. And uh, this system works together with the gas motor. Where our traditional hybrid system, you're running the gas motor or you're running an electric motor, and they are independent of one another. This system isn't designed to maximize fuel efficiency. This system is to maximize power of the truck itself. So by combining the new V6 turbo with this electric motor, which we call a motor generator, a MG, and then we put the 10-speed transmission behind it, we can do things that, uh, boy, I, I would never imagined before. And uh, as we look at uh, where we're at today, you know, torque is king in trucks. You, you understand trucks well. Um, we've gone from 401 pounds feet of torque to 583 pounds feet of torque. So it's a big jump. It's a big jump. <laughs> and when we started this development, you know, I asked my powertrain engineers because I, I, I'm, I, I won't lie, I'm a diesel guy. I love diesel engines. Um, how do we get diesel? power out of it. And, and we have some really great diesel power plants in our lineup. Um, but with the regulations and uh, the emissions requirements, uh, the new certification due to some people not playing nice, it really is not uh, uh, an easy offering anymore, I guess is the best way I can put it. And, and the, the real question is, uh, does a customer actually want the diesel or do they want the torque? Um, so my, my request to our powertrain group is I want diesel torque in our new truck. I want to be able to put a 12,000 pound trailer behind it and I want us to really have an effortless system going up or what we call confident natural driving. And so our new V6 turbo gas engine by itself is a huge increase of, of torque over our, our uh, current 3UR 5.7 liter V8. Um, but the great thing about the turbo engine is that as you, you build up and the turbos wind up at 2400 RPMs, you flatten that torque curve out. It looks like a diesel curve. The wonderful thing about the new one motor hybrid is you still have to spool up those turbos on that V6, but with that motor generator, that MG, I'm filling in that, that torque curve. Sorry, I have to use my hands to no, explain. No, that's but, great. <laughs> but, you know, you, your torque curve goes like this. Where a traditional gas or our, even our 5.7, you know, the torque curve looks like this. We've now flattened that torque curve out more like a diesel, but with the MG, now you have instantaneous torque. You build up and you can hand over to the, the gas engine or you can run them together. And that's where that 583 is. So we're taking the, the V6 turbo, we're adding the, the two motors running together, which gives us this. And then when you ma reach your max torque and you start dropping off at the peak there, now we can use that MG, that electric motor, to fill that in again. So you really have 
the, the best of all worlds. And that is, you know, I've got this great torque in this flat torque curve, but I also have instantaneous power. Where a diesel, you have to build up, you know, as you add fuel, you build up engine speed and engine speed equals vehicle speed. This, you get the, the best thing of a gas engine, the best thing of a diesel engine. And the real benefit behind it is as you go up in these higher torque engines, you get better fuel economy. I don't think anybody's done that before. Right, and do, so I guess the question is, do truck buyers care about fuel economy or do they care more about performance? Boy, you know, if I had a nickel for everyone that's complained about a tundra, Tundra's fuel economy, um, I, I'd probably be doing something else right now. <laughs> but yes, they do. You know, they, they care about fuel economy. Are they willing to give anything up for fuel economy? That's the real question. Right. And if we look at um, rejection reasons for purchase, you know, that's right up there. You know, fuel economy is a... Is a sore spot for for tundra but if you look at purchase reasons whether it's us or our competitors it's down at 17 you know the reason i bought the truck is because of fuel economy so as we're doing our research that's a little confusing you complain about fuel economy but it's not the reason you bought the truck and i really put that back being a truck customer myself i'm not just the chief engineer i drive trucks every day uh, i've always driven trucks it, it's I always want better fuel economy, but I'm not willing to give up torque to get better fuel economy. And the diesel option was always great because you naturally get better fuel economy with a diesel, and I got the torque I wanted, but you kind of lose the, the fun to drive because you're still building up speed on a diesel without doing special things to it. Uh, so I really think this new powertrain is, is something that's going to blow everybody's mind when they drive it. And you really have to get behind it to understand it. Um, and then we made it with a 10-speed automatic. So the 10-speed automatic is also helping with the fuel economy. But the shift points are set that, boy, you, you can go from mild to wild with, with the, the multi-train select and, and selecting your modes of driving. Um, it's really, you can, you can put it to your flavor. Mild to wild. So did you have to be convinced at all? to give up the V8 in favor of this new engine? Um, as I said, I'm not only the chief engineer, I'm, I'm, I'm a truck guy, I'm a customer. I drive a 5.7 every day. And yeah, it's, it's tough. You know, the, the old adage is there's no replacement for displacement. Right. Right? So yeah, you know, when you come in and say, oh, I'm gonna give you a 3.5 liter, you're like, uh, you're like, hey, where's the rest of my engine? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> How about we double that? You know, a seven would be great. Um, <laughs> but really, with the technology we have versus the technology we had before, that smaller displacement engine and, and the torque it's putting out by itself is just spectacular. And with our D4S system, our fuel injection system, with the new turbos that we put on it, we really flatten that torque curve out. And like I said at the beginning, my goal was, I want a diesel engine. Give me a diesel engine. And looking back, it's kind of like fuel economy. Do I really want a diesel engine, or do I want the torque of a diesel engine? I think you should say that with more of a growl. I wanted a diesel engine. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so it's really about torque. We're buying torque. You know, if I was buying a sports car, I'd be looking for horsepower. But torque is king in trucks. Right, especially when you're towing. Especially right? when you're towing or off-roading. I need that power to get out of the hole and, and go down, you know. Um, it, it, it's that getting power to the ground and how much work that engine can do is really important. Thank you so much, Mike. Thank you. Looking forward to driving this one off-road. We'll see you soon.